So I am chatting with Larnell Lewis, and he's an excellent drummer and a great communicator. And so why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and some of the people that you played with? Okay, um, I started playing when I was two years old. Um, I currently teach at Humber College. I do a lot of traveling, recording and playing, and some clinic work. Uh, I am just on the beginning stages of producing. I've been producing maybe three or four years now, and definitely writing for a bit. And um, um, I've played with Glenn Lewis, I've played with Julie Black, I've played with Lila Bialy. Um, I will be playing with Kelly Lee Evans on tour coming up this summer. I've played with a ton of people. Um, Snarky Puppy is one of my favorites to always jam with. And Molly Johnson is another artist I currently play with. Awesome. Yeah. So the music industry has kind of transitioned from, well, I guess everything in general has transitioned from the industrial age over to the information age. But it seems like in the entertainment industry, the music industry is kind of the one that's a little bit further behind. So what are your thoughts on the way it's kind of changed in the last 10, 20 years? And that's from the industrial... To the information, information age. age? Yeah. Well, the way I see it working is it's, it's um, the way that the artist is taking on information age, you know, uh, technology age, yeah. Facebook age. Exactly. A lot of um, people, including myself, are using those, those uh, platforms to promote, you know, promote our music, promote our performances, promote, promote clinic tours, such as the one that I'm on currently. And, you know, it, I find that a lot of these things, just like anything in history, can be good or can be bad. It just depends. It's a tool. It depends on how you use it, right? Yeah. Right. And so um, I think it's a good thing what's happening so far. I do think that it's a change, and change usually is not always welcome. But at the same time, you can grow into it and find its benefits and drawbacks. So. Um, I think it's just a change, and if people are willing to move forward with a pure intention, then no matter the tool, they'll always get the job done. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I was actually going to bring up social media, so thanks for going there. No problem. Uh, so what are your thoughts? I mean, most musicians pretty much have to be on social media these days. It's mm -hmm. a little hard to avoid. Uh, you know, if you're Prince, maybe. It's not, <laughs> it's not that hard at all. You just stay away and people do it. Um, when it comes to this, when it comes to social media, uh, same thing. It's a tool, like I said just now. And yeah. at first, I really didn't like it. Um, mm. It's still a little bit difficult to maintain, yes. but at the same time, it is the way that people are connecting with other people. And so, if I can't be, you know, in Dubai, or if I can't be in, you know, Zimbabwe, or if I can't be in Japan, or if I can't be in Australia. Mm -hmm people can still find me and connect with me. So again, it's a way of becoming internationally known if you do have a product that is worthy of people's attention. So a lot of that stuff can be good. Drawbacks, you can kind of desensitize your audience by hitting them over the head with a lot of stuff and information too often. So at the end of the day, I think it's just understanding a balance, like anything else. Something that you really love can also hurt you to take too much of it. So it seems like a lot of musicians and producers and composers these days are having to take on roles that maybe they didn't expect to and wear a lot of different hats. Have you found that to be true in your career as well? Absolutely true. Um, I engineered uh, probably 75% of this EP, um, half of it being recorded at home. Um, people showing up in my house and actually playing. Um, I recorded the demo drums on my DTX. Um, you know, I wrote this stuff. I sought out, you know, I produced it basically, and, and now I'm marketing it. So uh, definitely a lot of it is happening, you know, within my, yeah, within my, uh, is, there's a lot of tools that you have to get if you want to get stuff done. Um, if you don't have the money to get it done, but you have the money to buy the equipment, it does take time to learn how to get these things happening. But nothing beats a good team because you can't do everything. That's right. Well, one last question, because I know they're probably trying to kick us out. <laughs> you hinted at this a little bit in your clinic already, but, you know, do you feel that there's, like, a price to pay yeah, for success in the sense of, like, you know, there's things that you have to give up in order to pursue the things that you really want to do? Absolutely, and, and that's where understanding the balance comes in. Because if you spend too much time trying to be a rock star, you know, you're going to bring those awards home to an empty house, you know? 
and um, there are sacrifices to be made, but at the end of the day, if you really believe in what you're trying to do, um, you'll take the time and actually get into it and do it, but without neglecting that you are, you know, that, that family side of you, just the fact that you're a person and that you need to live and you need to pay taxes, you know, and you need to eat well and you need to exercise and all the whole, the whole bit, you know? That's so, right. Yeah. That's awesome. So where can people find you online? www.larnellewismusic.com or just Larnell Lewis Music on YouTube, um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> um, it looks like three L's in the middle, but that's how you know you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Larno. Thank you.